Hi, this is Elwi, and this is the first uh, voiceover VOD I will be making of one of my matches from iCup. Um, as, as you all know, Season 4 just started, and I just came back from about four years of break. Been too busy with school and such. So anyways, this match is going to be a Protoss versus Terran on the map Gaia. I'm still getting used to all these new maps. I'm still used to like the the old types of maps like Temple, Dire Straits, Rivalry. You guys are probably laughing because those are pretty old maps. But um, just getting used to all these new maps like such as this one, Gaia, Blue Storm, Longinus, Python especially really different from all the old maps. It's really open in the middle, so... This is a D-plus match right now. And after I won this match, I actually became C-minus. So, I'm not really sure. This is about the second time I've ever played this map. This map. So, I'm just trying to go a safe strat here. Just building gateway. I'm going to do the normal uh, build. Gateway... Or a pylon gateway simulator, cybernetics core, and then another pylon. Make it look like I'm just going dragoons. But uh, my plan already is to go uh, DT drop to try to slow him down. Because I'm expecting him <coughs> to do the normal Terran strategy, which is just pump some marines, tank, vulture, expand. And they usually don't have very sufficient detection. They might have turrets, but all you have to do is target them. And the expansion probably won't have a turret yet. So, just hoping that will work. And he has not scouted me yet. So that's a good thing. And as you can see, my probe's going. And of course, as usual, he is in the last base that I am going to scout. <laughs> Here comes his SCV, finally. Attacking my pylon. Um, all he sees right now is just my uh, cybernetics core and pylon, so he doesn't see anything amazing that ma would make him want to get an early engineering bay or such. And one thing you really want to do is, if you're going to do a strat like this, you've got to block your ramp. Make sure that his scouting SCV won't see what you're doing. So I'm going to have to build Dragoon first, try to kill off that SCV or chase him out of my base. And after I do that, I'll um, be able to start building my Citadel of Dune and my Rubox facility to get the drop ready. As you can see, he's starting to damage my pile on there. I just tried to scout him, but his Marines were up top. So now I'm completely sure that he's doing this normal strat that Terran usually do. Uh, I'm not really worried about an early rush with marines, tanks, and vultures with mines because I will be getting Dark Templar and he probably will not have uh, a scanner yet to be able to see them so he will have to pull back. <laughs> That's a risk you have to take. You have to take risks to win games sometimes. And his SCV is being annoying, running through my mineral lines, my Dragoon's getting stuck in my own probes. As you can see he's finally running out of my base. So I will be able to place down my Citadel of a Dune. I put down the Robox facility early earlier because uh there I, I just blocked off my ramp. So to stop any further scouts. Uh Citadel of a Dune going up Robox facility. The reason I put the Robox facility <coughs> up earlier is because it would not have uh, made him think I was going to do a DT drop or anything, because many Protoss build the Robox facility early just so they can get an early observer. Scout any uh, expansion or to see any mines. My Templar archives going up. And I have another gateway going up so I can make two DT at the same time.
And right now, I have no idea what he's doing. He could be pushing up, but as I said before, I'm not really worried about that. Um, and now I'm sending a probe up to get an expansion. Because it seems that he has not done the early rush, and it would be safe right now to expand. Since my DT are almost done. Templar Archives going up. TDT building. My shuttle is already finished, waiting in the corner of my base uh, to pick them up and shuttle them over. So, right now it's the game's a little boring, nothing's really going on. And this was my first match of the day. I just woke up, so not exactly playing at my fullest. He does see my uh, expansion going up here. I'm trying to uh, lure his SCV over so I can just kill it and get out of my way. DT are done. <coughs> Dropping into my, uh, my dropship, picking him up. And they will be going over to his base right now. I'm planning on sending them down the middle, actually. Uh, wait, I'm waiting for one more DT, actually. And so here goes the shuttle. It's going down the middle of the map. I'm hoping he will not see it, have anything there, but right there, there's a barracks that sees it, so I have to pull it over to the right, really, to the left, really fast. Um, I'm just hoping he didn't see that. <laughs> Even if you did, um, it'll be there soon, so. I'm going over, and sure enough, his expansion just finished. Drop one DT there and harass that expansion. Try to slow it down a little bit. Uh, it gets killed by a mine right there, but I still have two left. Drop one more. Um, okay, there goes the DT. I target his turret that's building. I have one Dark Templar left in my shuttle, I bring it over to the main, as you can see he has, a, he has a turret there already, and I see the tank just hit it, so I go target the tank instead of the turret. The DT is slowing his uh, expansion, so that's exactly what I wanted, I wanted him to not be able to mine, as you can see my expansion just finished, and I will be mining for my expansion while he is busy trying to kill that DT. <coughs> Uh, targeting the vulture. Just trying, just leaving the DT there, just slowing down his economy as much as I can while I build up. And as I said before, I don't really know this map. This is about like the second time I ever played this map, so. As you can see, my s this expansion right here, I didn't really notice until after I started building right there that it was right next to his base. <laughs> Right there, I um, used his mine and I tried to lure the mine into his SCVs to try to kill off as many SCVs as I can. That's one thing a good Protoss player has to do is be able to pull their own mines towards their own units. Take some practice. Um, now that I noticed that uh, there's a ramp right there, right next to his base, two ramps actually, I started putting up some cannons. And I am just uh, trying to macro now, build as many gateways as I can on my two bases, soon three bases, and uh, just out macro him while he's sitting there uh, on one expansion at the moment. Um, Zealot speed upgrade and uh, attack one are upgrading. Because you really don't want to go into battle with slow zealots against a good Terran player. So this this Terran is a uh, he's probably just building up a uh, sizable force at the moment since he got slowed so much in the beginning. Now I see that there's a second ramp there and I'm thinking how retarded.